In this lead intake process, we are downloading a CSV file full of leads and then uploading all of them to Salesforce in batches. How can we go through each of these leads and double check to make sure that they are worth adding and filter them out if they are not? We are retrieving the data in batches as well, so we need to find a way to separate each item from the batch to check it. We can do this with repeat actions. I'll go ahead and add a step underneath parse CSV here. And you can see that we have options for repeat for each and repeat while actions. You can use a repeat for each action if you want to go through a list of items and perform the same actions on each item in the list. In this case, we have a list of leads and we want to perform the same logic each time for each lead. Alternatively, we have a repeat while action. We're not going to get into that today, but the idea here is that it will continue repeating as long as the condition remains true. So let's go with repeat for each here. And it's here that we need to check our input list. We're going to click into our input list data field and use the output of our parse CSV step, which are lines. And so we're going to go through each line that we've parsed to check if they are leads worth keeping. I'm going to click add a step inside the loop now. And I'm going to choose if condition. So for each line, each lead in our CSV, if a condition is true, do one thing. If not, do another thing. If the lead is of quality, I want to separate it into its own list and then upload that list to Salesforce, ignoring the other ones. In other words, filter out leads I do not need. To do that, I'm going to have to create a place to store the leads I want to save. I'm going to go up a few steps. Let's go above. We'll go at above the for loop and click action in app. And this time we're selecting variables by Workado. And a variable is a place where we can temporarily store data and then access it somewhere else. Think of it almost like scratch paper. So what I want to do is I want to click Create List. So I'm creating an empty list that I will later add items to. Let's give this list a name. I'll call this Quality Leads. And then now I need to set up my list schema. What are the headers? And they should be the same as what we had previously. I can add fields manually, or I can enter my fields as JSON. JSON might look a little intimidating if you haven't used it before, but it's really not so bad. The trick here is that between two curly brackets, we are going to put a list of column headers in quotation marks, first name, last name, company, et cetera. After the quotation marks, we put a colon. And then in quotation marks, we indicate what data type we are using. So here we have first name is going to be a string or a text value, whereas annual revenue will be a number value. And then we have commas that will separate each header. So let's click Next. We'll get a little preview here. And now we can generate the schema. And now everything's mapped over. Now we have an empty list with the column headers that we need. So going back now to our repeat action, if a condition is true, we want to add that lead to a list. So we're going to go into yes under the if condition, action in app. And this time, we will once again select variables by Workado. And this time, we're going to add items to list. The list name will be quality leads from step four. And where do we want to insert on the list? We're going to add anything we want to keep to the end of the list. And then we have to do mappings. But to save ourselves time, let's group map the data. So under step seven here on the left, I click list item. And I'm going to map it to the output of the for each action. And we can see that we have 12 matching fields here. So let's click Next. We can preview to verify that everything maps over as we expect it. 
and then we can apply those mappings. So all of that is done for us very quickly. Now that I have a separate list of leads I want to keep, I'm gonna to go to step eight, create leads in batches. And for my lead source list, instead of the lines that came out of my parse CSV step, what I'm instead gonna do is use the lines that come from my list. So I'll go up to step four, create quality leads list, and then select quality leads as my source list. And now I'll have to do my mappings again. So click group map data. I'll map our leads in Salesforce to the quality leads that we created. We have nine matching fields, apply the mappings, and that is all done for us. Very nice. So to recap, we'll be separating the leads we wanna keep, putting them in a new list, and that list will be the one that goes into Salesforce. Anything we don't wanna keep will be left out.